confession, I didn't get up and get my squat challenge done this morning. That's what I'm gonna do this afternoon. It's lunchtime. I'm gonna take a few minutes and get in some squats before I go get something to eat. Finally ready to go for this afternoon squat challenge. And today I have for you a sumo squat swing. So it's like two moves in one. So you're basically gonna be doing 40 moves, 20 squats and 20 swings, but we're gonna be combining them. So I've got a kettlebell. It's a 30 pound kettlebell and I've also got my mat so that I can protect my carpet. It's a double move. So we're going to be grabbing this kettlebell, squatting down, up, swinging. And that's one. So you're gonna squat down, up, swing. Two, down, up, and swing would be three. Whoop! Gotta catch your balance. Four, down, swing, and then bring the weight back up to your chest. Swing down and bring the weight back up to your chest. I'm pretty sure we're at like six and this is seven. You get a rhythm down, but it is kind of hard to count. And that's eight. We're gonna go with eight. Swing back in and down. Swing back in and down. 10. And then we're gonna swing back in. Bring the weight up and squat. 11. Swing, bring the weight up. 12. So after you get the weight up, you're gonna squat down and make sure you push your glutes together at the top. That was 13. 14. Come on, we're almost there. 15, and I know that this one is challenging Trust me, 16. And you wanna make sure you point your knees out a little bit as you squat down. That way you don't have to keep moving your feet for the swing. I think this is 17. I don't have a cameraman today. 18, two more. Swing back in and down. Get down as low as you can. If you're gonna squat, might as well, right? Last one and swing. There we go. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure we did more than 20. I don't know about you, but I feel like that is a great squat to incorporate into a cardio routine because I'm feeling it and I hope you are too. And I'll see you tomorrow. You're gonna need a resistance band.